October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and while the focus is on women, men can also get breast cancer. News 10 Bureau Chief Gary Bryan tells us how one Wabash Valley man hopes to eliminate the stigma associated with male breast cancer. Every year, thousands of men are diagnosed with breast cancer. In 2017, one of those diagnosed was Matt Bowman. During the month of October, you'll see pink ribbons and support for women with breast cancer. But for many, not much thought is given to men getting the disease. That could be said for Matt Bowman until he was diagnosed in 2017. I, I really, what shock was the feeling more than anything, but because um, uh, it's something that you don't really think guys can, can, can have or be diagnosed with, but uh, the reality is, is breast tissue is breast tissue. Bowman was alerted when he discovered he had an inverted nipple. After evaluations, doctors diagnosed him with breast cancer. When pathology finally came back, um, I had four positive lymph nodes and that actually made me stage 3A. Um, so in a matter of about a week and a half, I went from stage one to stage three. Bowman received chemotherapy and mastectomies on both breasts, all the while facing a health system that seemed behind on male breast cancer. When you walk in, oh, are you here for your wife, your girlfriend, your mother? Um, there are places that still have signs on their, on their walls, no men past this point. He says this can make it embarrassing for men to get the help they need. According to the Men's Breast Cancer Coalition, over 500 men will die of breast cancer in 2020. Today, Bowman's prognosis is good, but he hopes awareness will help to get medical providers and men up to speed on male breast cancer. If you have breast tissue still to this day, you are at risk for developing breast cancer. We've put some resources for male breast cancer on our website at WTHITV.com. Just click on this story. Working from home in Vincennes, Gary Bryan, News 10.